We went to Ocean Shores for the Kite Invasion Kite Festival. And there is the halo around the sun caused by the uh, moisture in the thin cloud layer. So those are some of my friend's kites. It was the truck camper and me taking pictures. We stayed at a house of a relative who just happened to, fortunately for us, live in Ocean Shores. So we're driving from the house out to the road. And uh, we're going to go out to the beach here. And so I put the truck in four-wheel drive and we're just going to drive along the sand. You want to try and stick to the packed sand. Uh, you get into the soft stuff and you might get uh, stuck. Okay, so we found my friend's truck. And uh, so we're just going to... Stay there and uh, hang out for the day. Do some barbecuing later on. And watch kites fly through the air. It's kind of fun to just watch. There's the lovely Miss Kelly taking pictures. And those are uh, kite festival people. It's funny to watch the people walk around in a time-lapse mode. Okay, this is my friend's kite setup. And this is the anchor for the kites. And this is his rope of kites. So it's pretty cool. He has these three frog kites. Looks like somebody's putting up a big sock over there. And then he's got uh, his kids, I think, have put up these, the orca. And, uh, I don't know what that is, a penguin, maybe? That's kind of cool. But look at all these kites up here at the Ocean Shores Kite Festival. That big kite up there has a main line on it, and it more or less supports these other kites to fly along the same line. And there's somebody with a parasail kite that they are controlling. I don't see where that person is. Oh, he's right there. There's the orca. There's the little penguin. And there are the fish. There is the halo around the sun. And there you see the truck camper. Wahoo! And the lovely Miss Kelly walking along. So we're going to take a quick drive down the beach to where the other group of kites is. I don't think they show up in the GoPro, but they are center in screen as another large group of kites. So we're going to go down, drive along the water. We're at uh, Ocean Shores on the beach. There's the ocean. 
we're going to drive down along the beach look at the kites down there and then we're going to come back here and throw some pork chops on the barbecue so there is the halo of the sun again and those are my friend's kites up there you see the three fish kites there's a dragon a couple of vowels they're pretty nice and there's the shark It's kind of interesting to watch the wind blowing the sand around the tire, creating these channels here. You can see the path of the wind after that rock. So it's kind of cool. I don't know if you can actually see the sand blowing or not. We turned around during the sunset and noticed this rainbow behind us. That was pretty cool. And so you can see the sun setting in the uh, surf line. We got a nice little double reflection of the sun along the water. So we're going to drive along the beach here a little bit, looking for a good spot without any cars around to watch the sunset. So here's a good spot here. So we're sitting there watching the sunset when all of a sudden this car pulls up and stops exactly right there in front of us, blocking our view. So we move a few yards down the way and resume watching the sunset. So it was pretty cool watching the colors change in the sky. So we're going to get going here in a second and drive along the beach going southward.
And so now people have their headlights on. It's kind of interesting to see all the traffic on the beach. Now we're heading out onto the road. And we're just going to head back to our uh, relative's house. Let's cruising along the roads here. And there we are. Driving. Alright, so we were driving. driving along and the ABS light and an engine uh, check light came on. So I suspected that it might be this, which is the speed sensor that goes on the pumpkin or the rear differential. And my lovely assistant is holding up the box for it. So we are going to um, change this right now. We are at the uh, Action Auto store and we're going to fix this. It only takes a couple of minutes and I'll show you what to do. Auto zone. Auto zone, yes. Grab our two wrenches. I'm not sure if it is standard or metric. Left on top. That's 10 millimeter. You undo that. This pulls right out. You unclip the snaps on the uh, plug. And that's truck camper fun. So we got the truck fixed. There's the Tacoma Dome, one of the world's largest wood dome structures. And there's a neat bridge in Tacoma. There is the Cliff House Restaurant. Great view. And Seattle's Ferris Wheel. And please do consider subscribing. Thanks for watching the video.